what did I envision my future to be like? I didn't think I had one. We weren't allowed to dream about futures for ourselves. We were just workers and they pulled us out of school. So I lacked a lot of education. I told myself no matter what I went through as a child, I'm the one who's gonna change it. I can change it. And so I tried to enroll myself in high school, but I was pregnant, so I couldn't do that. And I wanted to enroll in school, but I had three kids by this time. Raising children is hard. And I just kept having them, and I love them. So I want to take care of them. I told myself that as soon as I was able, as soon as I had the opportunity or the means to, I would go back to school. But you have no idea how many little things will get in your way and stop you from pursuing that dream. We didn't know it yet. It was my son's birthday. We're having a picnic on our front porch and the landlord comes up with an eviction notice. Of course, all the kids start crying. I had actually applied many places to homeless shelters, to you know all the different avenues that you could go to get help when you're desperate. We got turned down, told no. Either I was making too much money or not enough money and I couldn't pay the bills and things were getting shut off and I couldn't work because my daughter had brain surgery. I couldn't work. I had doctor's visits every single day. None of these programs would help me. It's really hard to be a single mom with five children and literally no support. The Working Together program um, helps families that have children zero to five years old. Um, we like to help people who want to gain employment or pursue their education. We can help them with rental assistance, gas assistance, mechanical work on their car to get to and from school or to and from work. Any barriers that may come through as they're trying to pursue their goal, we can help them with. Currently, I am a student at Trinidad State Junior College. I'm going for a counting certificate, which I graduate for on May 10th. <laughs> I'm, I'm graduating! <laughs> With Working Together's help, though, I have been able to maintain a very decent GPA, which got me into the PTK Honor Society, which affords me many scholarship opportunities. I'm also the president of our student government. I'm now certified to do taxes through my accounting certificate. I believe that whatever you want to be possible is possible. You have to work for it, but also you have to have a good support system. Everybody needs at least a little bit of help here and there. And that's what working together really did. So Cynthia, <laughs> I have a little surprise for you. <laughs> Won't do that to me. We are going to, the Working Together program is going to assist you with up to $1,000 to help cover. <laughs> you already do so much. Because you already do so, so, so much for me and my family. You're welcome. We're so happy to help you. <laughs> so that was like you worked times. so you worked for this. You worked so hard at everything that you've achieved. You deserve it. I just hope my kids can see this and hopefully this helps set them on a better path. Cause that's what I want. I just want I just want to be stable. I want them to be stable and not have to worry. <laughs> I was just thinking about not paying a bill this morning because I didn't have enough money to pay it. You know, until later, some things get pushed. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's See, awesome. Things work out. Things work out. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm a mess. <laughs> Can I hug you? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs>